Hey guys, I'm Ross, your mattress expert from realmattressreviews.com. I'm excited today to finish up for you guys my review of the 2920 mattress from 2920sleep.com. The 2920 is a 10 inch foam mattress that was designed with pressure relief and cooling in mind. Now this mattress comes in at $9.95 before any coupons applied that you can find at realmattressreviews.com. They offer a 100 night sleep trial and a 10 year warranty. So we spent about two weeks total on this mattress. It's been a while since we had done the unboxing so we've got a lot of great information to share with you guys today we'll talk about how it performed for us during our sleep trial we'll do some performance testing for you guys and then ultimately I'll talk about who I think might be a good fit for the 2920 but first of all we'll get started by talking about how the 2920 is constructed So first up, construction. So it starts off with a nice stretch knit cover. I've already got this unzipped, but when it is zipped up, it's very tight. So if you pull on it, it snaps back into place. That will ensure that you're not gonna get bunching of the material like that. Underneath here, I cut this fire sock to give you guys a look at the inside of the foam. I wouldn't recommend doing that on your own mattress. But it starts off here with two inches of what they call pressure relief foam the one inch transitional foam layer with a lot faster response time. This kind of has the consistency of latex, a 5.5 inch foam core, and then a, another 1.5 inch of a base foam. This is gonna give you more foundational support for your platform, box spring, or what have you. So this top two inches is kind of a cross between memory foam and latex in terms of uh, foam response. So when I push down, it responds a lot faster than memory foam, not quite as fast as latex. So it's kind of a cross between the two, but it provides very good uh, body conformance and pressure relief. This is a foam that's also very temperature neutral, so it's not gonna trap heat very much. But this is a kind of foam that I really personally like this type of consistency with uh, this kind of response. So it's kind of a cross between memory foam, so you're still getting the contouring and pressure relief of memory foam. So not quite as much of a stuck feeling as you can get with memory foam, but not as bouncy as just say like a latex would be. So it's a good kind of cross between the two. Uh, it provides very good motion reduction and pressure relief. So I'll go ahead and get this zipped back up and then we'll talk about how the mattress feels and how it performed for us during our sleep trial. All right guys, next up, what I'm gonna do is simply lay down on the mattress and I'll talk about what I'm experiencing and a little bit about what we experienced during our actual sleep trial. So right when you lay down, as I mentioned during the construction, that top layer is res more responsive than memory foam. So you don't have that really slow sinking feeling, but you sink down into it and it has similar pressure relief and body contouring as you would see with memory foam. So right when you lay here, it's very contouring to my lumbar. It feels very supportive here in my lower back. Even my elbows and my heels are feeling relief, pressure relief as I lay here. The overall feel of it, I would say, is about a 5.5 to 6, with 10 being the firmest. So it is that kind of sweet spot right in the middle that should work great for you combination sleepers that are sleeping between side, back, and stomach. So as I mentioned, it feels very nice here in my lumbar. I feel very supportive. My butt doesn't feel like it's sinking in lower than the rest of my body, which sometimes can be a problem uh, when you don't have a very good foam core. So I think the core is very good in this as well. I'm not getting that sensation. Uh, when I flip over here to my side, I don't have a ton of pressure pushing up on my hip or my shoulder. So it does work really good for side sleeping as well. And then it is certainly firm enough here on my stomach and like I said, how my butt wasn't sinking in, my stomach's not sinking way in either, so it's minimizing how much my lower back is arching. So in our sleep trial, I didn't have you know a lot of lower back pain or anything like that when I was sleeping on my stomach. So the foam that this uses, they call their pressure relief foam. It's very similar, I'm not sure if it's the same exact foam, uh, but similar to a foam called Serene, which I use in a lot of my mattresses and my show floor. And people really love the feel of it. It's got a really good combination between pressure relief and uh, foam response. So you get similar pressure relief to what you would with memory foam, but not as much of a stuck feeling. So it's a lot easier to move around on and adjust positions. So the overall feel of the 2920 is very nice. It's a nice neutral medium type feel. So like I said, it should work for most of you out there in terms of sleeping position. Uh, I really like that the foam has good pressure relief. 
and a good response time. So you have less of a stuck feeling. It also has a good foam core. So one of my complaints a lot of times with 10 inch mattresses is that they don't have a very dense foam core because if they do, a lot of times the mattresses feel too firm. So in order to get the right feel, they have to soften up the core a little bit since they're 10 inches where they can't keep putting you know stacks of comfort foams on the top. So this actually has a really good balance. It's got a good foam core and it's not too firm. So they've done a really good job here with the design of the mattress. Uh, for those of you out there that don't want a really thick mattress, this is a good choice uh, where you're still going to get a quality mattress but not a super thick mattress. Alright guys, now that you have an idea of how the 2920 feels, we'll do some performance testing. First we'll take a look at motion transfer. I've got my bottle there. We'll start off by dropping the weight, give you a sense of how much motion transfer so if you and your partner are in the mattress one of you moves around a lot this will give you a sense of how much you'll be able to feel that movement so there's very little being an all foam mattress I'll kind of plop down just positions even really close to the bottle if I bounce around it'll move a little bit here but partially that's my whole platform moving but ultimately being an all foam bed you're gonna have very little motion transfer so if you are used to your old school traditional inner spring, you'll find that this is a vast improvement on motion reduction, motion transfer. The next thing we'll look at is bounce. We talked a little bit about this already with the response time of the foams. So I'll drop this, this will give you a sense of the bounce. So you can see the anchor bounces up a little bit. If this were just regular memory foam, it would have a lot more of a thud. And if it was latex, it would have a lot more springiness once it bounce way up. So as I mentioned, it has a really good combination of pressure relief and bounce. It's a faster response time than memory foam, but not super springy like latex. And with that, we'll look at that foam response. As I push down, the foam core and that transitional layer will be very quick. Top layer takes just a tad longer to pop up but still very quickly uh, compared to like a high density memory foam. So I really do like the consistency of the foam they use. Makes it really easy to adjust positions with good pressure relief. The last thing we'll look at here is edge support. So as I sit here, as you would expect, the top comfort layers are gonna sink in. And then once I hit the foam core, it's supportive here with the foam core and that base foam layer. So I touched on this a little bit already. It doesn't bottom out like a lot of 10 inch mattresses will, uh, not very easily at all. So it does have good quality foams in it, which is nice. It provides pretty good, you know, it's average edge support here in the seated position. I'm not as worried about the seated position as I am laying toward the edge. During our sleep trial, we had no issues with this. Even here on the extreme edge where part of my body's even hanging off, my body's still straight here, straight alignment. I don't really get an ejected feeling. Even if I'm more realistic with a couple inches here where I would lay actually if there was two of us in the bed, you're not gonna experience any of that roll out of the bed sensation at all. So it performs really nicely in all these areas that are important. A good foam response, decent edge support, good edge support in the laying down position. Next up, I'll just briefly touch on temperature regulation and off-gassing. So when we first opened this mattress up, we didn't experience any bad off-gassing or anything like that. Uh, me personally, I'm not super concerned with off-gassing. Um, even your 100% organic mattresses still have a smell to them. A lot less chemicals used to make an organic mattress, so there is less off-gassing. But even you know a mattress that's not 100% natural organic, uh, no matter what it is, you're going to have some smell. Even latex, the natural ones have a smell too. I think most people attribute a smell to being off-gassing. Well, you're not going to have a zero smell mattress no matter what. But <clears throat> speaking on the 2920, we did not have an overwhelming smell or off-gassing. Any type of smell that it did have will dissipate within a day or two. 
And the same goes pretty much for all the mattresses that you're gonna find that come in a box or even straight from a factory, non-roll packed. You're still gonna have some you know, new mattress type smells. That's not something I'm personally overly concerned with. Um, next up, we'll just touch on temperature. So this mattress performed really well with temperature regulation. We didn't have an overwhelming uh, amount of heat being trapped uh, in this top layer of foam. It is a more of a temperature neutral foam. It did not trap heat very much. It's an open cell foam as well, so it, it will circulate air a little bit better than your traditional memory foams will. And because this is more of a medium feel, you're not getting a ton of sinkage like you would if it were soft. So, you know, more of your body is exposed to the air, which also helps you sleep cooler, obviously, when you're not engulfed into the mattress. So overall, it performed really well with temperature regulation, and it didn't have a lot of off-gassing at all. All right, everybody, so the big question is, who should consider the 2920 mattress from 2920sleep.com? Um, I would say, first of all, you need to be somebody that's looking for the all foam type feel. Obviously, this does not have coils, so if you're interested in a hybrid or more of that traditional mattress feel, the foam mattress is not gonna provide that. It has less motion transfer, and you won't have as much bounce as you will with a coil unit. Uh, one nice thing on the 2920 is that the top foam is fairly responsive so you're not getting just a thud kind of a stuck feeling like memory foam <clears throat> so if you are looking for a foam mattress with a little more ease of repositioning a little little extra bounce that this foam will provide this could be a good option for you so second of all you need to be somebody looking for that medium feel uh, i would say medium just a tiny tiny bit on the firmer side of medium um, with the good foam core in it it has good pressure relief but you need to be somebody looking for that medium feel so those of you that are combination sleepers that like to flip it up between the three sleeping positions uh, this could be a good option for you i would say potentially the one negative i would have is if you are a person 300 pounds or more and uh, not to knock the mattress itself it won't bottom out laying down on it I just personally have recommendations for heavier sleepers that I think will work better than a 10 inch foam mattress. But overall, um, if you're somebody that's looking for really good motion reduction, a mattress that sleeps nice and cool, that good kind of medium feel that works good in all three sleeping positions, uh, this might be something for you to consider. Additionally, they do offer the 100 night sleep trial and a 10 year warranty. So you will have plenty of time to test the mattress to see if it's the right one for you if you think you want to give it a shot. Before our coupons, the Queens come in at $9.95, so it is you know, under $1,000 and there's coupons available at realmattressreviews.com to help you guys save some money on the 2920. Um, ultimately, it is a well-built mattress. As I mentioned, um, a lot of times in my reviews, I'm not the hugest fan of 10-inch foam mattresses because I feel like a lot of them bottom out too easily. Well, that's not the case here on the 2920. It has really good foams, so you're not gonna have an issue bottoming it out or anything. So in my stores, I oftentimes find people don't want a really thick mattress. Maybe they're worried about their sheets not fitting or if they have kind of a short headboard or something like that. So not everybody wants an overly thick mattress. If that's the case for you, this could be a really good option. It's one of the better built uh, foam mattresses that we've reviewed so far. So if you have any questions at all, drop me a message below. If you're not quite sure if this is the one for you, if you head back to realmattressreviews.com, on the right hand side of the screen, there's a tab that says mattress concierge. Maybe you're starting from scratch and you're not quite sure which one's right for you, or maybe you're stuck between a couple options. Shoot me over some information about yourselves and I'll personally write back with some suggestions that I think might work great for you. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. If you have any questions, like I said, I'm here to help. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.